chosen ones, empaths, <clears throat> I don't want you to be thinking <clears throat> when you've seen the narcissist downgrade. You've seen them go out there and pick up some trash and you might be looking on their social media and you're in shock and you're actually starting to doubt yourself and you're actually starting to think, how has this person left me for that? Trust me, you don't need to worry. Never let it trigger any insecurities in you. Don't let it trigger you to have low self-esteem. Trust me, the narcissist has merely gone back down to their level. They have gone back down to their level, right? You know, there's something called leveling, which a subscriber taught me about, funnily enough. This is why we all collectively teach each other something. I knew about it, but I didn't know there was an actual terminology for it, okay? Now, thanks to the subscriber, but it's something called leveling, right? Now, I know this is swaying off the topic a bit of the downgrade, but just hear me out. Through the course of the relationship, there's something called leveling, right? They want you to be miserable. They want you to have ill feelings because this is how they feel inside themselves. So they merely try to drag you down to their level, okay? And they're matching that. But why this twists into the downgrade is because this is them kind of leveling too. This is them being around you for the entire relationship, feeling like they're not valued. It's why they demanded attention from you. They demanded attention from you. They demanded affection. They demanded this stuff because they needed to feel alive. They needed that supply, right? And some people say, that there's no such thing as a narcissistic downgrade because they're going to the new supplier to get other resources and other sorts of supply. Bullshit to that. Please press the like and the subscribe button and help your brother out and take two seconds of your time. You made them feel... You made them doubt themselves. You, you know, I'm <clears throat> maybe, maybe in other situations, other scenarios... They downgrade for, for reasons. But I'm telling you that when it comes to an empath and a chosen one, you made them not feel themselves. You know, you weren't easily moldable. I know we have codependency issues. We do, right? Some of us do. But you weren't easily moldable. The way that you can speak, the way that you speak your truths, the way that you interact with the world and, 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 and humankind, you made them feel a way, right? Every day you made them feel a way, right? So they're much more comfortable with someone who's on their level. That's why they downgrade. They're much, but this is the thing, it's a catch 22 for them. See, I always talk about the grass is greener. They thought the grass was greener in this sand because it will be a walk in the park. Let me get this new supply. It'll be a walk in the park. I won't have to put up with this drama and this intense emotions I face every day because I'm, de because I'm dealing with an empath, a super empath, a chosen one, right? So they went out there to deal with this new supply and they downgraded. But it's when they get over there and they realize that they grabbed some low-hanging fruit and they start looking back up at you and this is when the revaluation, right, so they devalued you, but then they begin to revalue you. And you begin to look at that, that person, the shiny once again, and the person that they need. And they feel starved of your supply. And this is what a true empath and a true chosen one has an effect on a narcissist. We know that the prime target of a narcissist is an empath. But too many of these articles online and stuff like that tries to talk like narcissism is interacting with just a normal person. We're all different. So it's like they put the narcissist in a separate category, like they're almost special. Like they've got these superhuman strengths and powers where they can just make people miserable and no one can touch them and no one can get underneath their skin. No way. You can disturb a narcissist's spirit so easily. We disturb their spirit 
through the entire relationship. We disturb their spirit. I made a video the other day about the narcissistic injuries we inflicted. We inflicted severe, countless narcissistic injuries to them. That's often why they discarded us. That's often why they, you know, they'll blame us. They'll, initially, when they broke up with us, if they discarded you, for instance, they were blaming you. Or even if they didn't, dis even if they didn't discard you and you had to get rid of them, um, they blamed you. You were getting into arguments and stuff and they were blaming you. They were pushing you too far. They were blaming you. They were attacking you. They were abusing you. They were doing that to you because of a reason, right? That's how it comes down to. But we have a real, real, we trigger narcissists. Like, we trigger narcissists. Empaths ain't just some walk in the park that you can just easy manipulate and just take for a ride. We're intense. We've got intense energy. You know, that's why more greater narcissists and spiritual narcissists will stick with us for a long time. These lesser narcissists can't even handle our energy. A lesser narcissist doesn't even know what to do with a super empath because when we're, when we're mirroring back to them, to these lesser narcissists, they, they don't know. Trust me. And the thing is, we actually awaken narcissists to the fact they're narcissists and we awaken narcissists to go off into their journey in the future after they stop dealing with us to actually um, become more of a greater narcissist. But they still need to stay at their level and they go to that supply. They go to that low down supply. So this gives you the answer of why they do it. OK. But we do know. Right. That they regret. it. They do regret it. But sometimes you may see them stay together for long t periods of time because they've got no other choice but to stick around that supply. Right. And they'll try and reel you back in through your social media or they'll be spying on you from your social media. Or like I like to say, some of them resort to the stalking. They'll be hiding in bushes and they'll be, they'll be you know, going through your bins and stuff. Like, these lot are little creeps, bro. Trust me. Yeah, and sis, they're, they're little creeps. So... You know, when they're out there in the world and you're seeing them moved on and you're seeing them with some trashy people, don't let it shock you. They've gone back to their level. Let them be. Let them go. It's where they deserve to be. They don't deserve to be around you. They really don't deserve to be around you. And the longer you can get this drilled into your head in the nicest possible way is the quicker you'll be getting this healing journey because I don't want you tied up with the emotions of why the narcissist has gone off with someone else and you're imagining what they're doing and you're thinking what they're doing at this time and you know and it's plaguing your mind don't worry i know that doesn't last forever we do have bouts of that we do have bouts of that but it doesn't last forever right you need to really understand that the narcissist is downgraded they needed to go back down to their level they couldn't match your energy they couldn't match your mirror and you mirrored back to them everything they've done to you every bit of Every bit of pain they tried to inflict on you, you mirrored back in another way. You mirrored it back through your speech. You mirrored it back through your actions. You mirrored them exactly what they are back at them. So when you, when they was dealing with you, it's almost like they was dealing with a narcissist. And this is what's special about an empath. This is what's special about a chosen one. Because we have high levels of authenticity, we have like high levels of empathy, the mirroring just comes natural to us. We won't even realize we were doing it. So every time the narcissist tried to manipulate, every time the narcissist tried to do destruction, we made it hard for them. It wasn't so easy. It wasn't a walk in a park. It's not a walk in a park with an empath. A true empath is not a walk in a park. And this is who my message is appealing to. This is who I'm reaching out to. So look, I guarantee if you look on other things, they're going to tell you the narcissist doesn't downgrade because the narcissist was merely going off with someone else because they've got other sources of supply that they were interested in. Blah, 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 blah. It's all rubbish. That's all rubbish. I'm telling you, it's all rubbish because they're not talking about a narcissist that was dealing with an empath. You are highly sought after. Great narcissists, the most intense, grandiose narcissists would want an empath for life because they know what an empath brings. They know what an empath brings to a table. But these lesser narcissists can't even handle us, right? They can't even handle us. It's the most chosen type of person that a narcissist wants and desires. And as I say in my other videos, 
Who's to say they haven't downgraded and gone with a narcissist? Who's to say they downgraded and they haven't gone with a psychopath or a sociopath? Right? That's what that's what's actually happened. I don't believe that these narcissists go off and find other empaths so easily. A lot of us are quiet. A lot of us keep to ourselves. A lot of us have been for abuse, so now we've, we've got our discernment switched on. A lot of us are on our healing journey. A lot of us, you know, they don't just go off and find other empaths. So don't believe for a second anything you see on the social media with this dusty person that they moved on with. And I don't even want you to blame the dusty person. Blame the dusty narcissist, right? Blame the dusty narcissist. This new person, I don't even think they're a victim. I don't even think they're a victim. I think they're just as toxic as the narcissist. And the narcissist has leveled with them and gone back to the level of them, right? And they can, they can start leveling off each other, trying to invoke emotions from each other and try and get everyone. And they're just going to dig themselves deeper and deeper, deeper, deeper into the ground, right? So leave them off there with their dusty supply in a dusty place that they're at. And let them dig themselves deep in the ground. So anyway, trust me, just don't worry about it for a second. Yeah, you know, they didn't think it was a downgrade at first. Remember that. They didn't think it was a downgrade necessarily. But they, they, they knew that we was too intense for them, right? You know, subconsciously, they need to do something at their level. Even if they was a, wasn't aware, you know, subconsciously, they need to go back down to the level. They thought the grass was greener. And this puts you in a position of power. This really puts you in a position of power. And you can literally look at the situation that they're in with this new supplier. And it puts you in a powerful position that they desire to get back to. So please door slam. Please don't let them back after they've moved on. Right? I'm not trying to trigger anyone here. But it's dangerous to let them back after they've been sleeping with numerous people. It's very dangerous. Both spiritually and health reasons. It's dangerous. We can't afford to do that right door slam them we all deserve something better in our lives and we're all going to obtain that i promise you never think that you don't deserve more it's all about knowing your value and building on your value that's what it's about on this journey on this healing journey so enjoy it so anyway enjoy the healing journey embrace it you know you become empowered again you know let's walk this healing journey together we can do it trust me so anyway i'll leave the video there please press the like and the subscribe button I've also got content on my other channel, a new channel. You can find the link in the description box of how to check out that channel. It's not as focused on narcissism as such. It's more focused on the healing journey and spiritual aspects and empaths and things like that. And I think it will bring a good balance to both channels, something as a goal between, you know. So anyway, if you would like a one-to-one -one session, you can find the details in the description box. And if you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the details in the description box as well. Anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.